I have no idea what to do for this video for like the picture here, so here's Marty. You led me straight to the fall. I'm broken, I'm so trying to skin and bone. All over the internet, in like various ways, TikTok and social media, I've always seen things about these two shows, Has Been a Hotel and Hell of a Boss. And recently I've been hearing about them more due to some like beatboxing YouTuber made a like Dost video about one of the characters being in love with him. And it's weird, but it got me thinking I've never seen these shows. I've heard about them, I heard they're good. And it also got me thinking, these are both shows I, if I was growing up, my mom would never let me watch. I've seen, like I get it, the awesome world theme towards the dots. But growing up, Veggie Tales was a regular. And if my mom saw me the, like watching these shows now, I'm pretty sure I would hear some sort of like rant about like how my grandmother would be disappointed in me. Something about like the hell theme that I think you see. <laughs> Is like an instant no. But I'm going to disappoint my family here today by watching Hell of a Boss. Because I was going to react to Has Been Hotel. But apparently that's like streaming at you somewhere. So probably going to be more likely to be a copy strike than this show. But like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let's, just, I don't know, get into it. And disappoint my mom. Whatever you, you prefer. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? To be fair, Millie, that is a pretty stupid idea. This is like, well, what does I need? Car washes. We are surrounded by fire, Millie. You are fired. But I can already tell this is like a... A little bit of what I expected, because let's all be honest here. That one chick, I'm pretty sure that's a foy. Just saying, like, I could be wrong here, but I don't think I am. Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie, really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? <laughs> that service does fit hell. But don't you go to how to be tortured? So wouldn't you really not need a business kind of focused on torturing people when that's like what you're already here to do? Again, I don't know. I haven't really seen the show. Someone's going to be like, oh, you're so stupid. This is what happens in the show. But I'm going in pretty blind <laughs> after seeing the photos and like things on Google being censored. It wasn't a good sign. To, I, I just stopped my research there. Ah, those were the good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. Millie's stepping up apparently now, but, uh, w why would you need, uh, like, a happy jingle? It's hell. Like, you, maybe you need, like, some, like, evil-sounding music? Not like, da 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 like a jingle? I don't know. Maybe it's a demonic jingle. I really don't, like, I don't know. I haven't heard it. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir, because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... What? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Okay, I get it. He's crushing your dreams like your dad did. <laughs> but let's be honest. Moxie? Moxie? Whatever his name is? Kind of got a point here. You're not really helping your business. You were just on the floor eating popcorn moments ago. Maybe your business is not, you know, shooting up. Especially when you have a whole, like, business meeting about how your business is doing bad. Maybe we should listen to the person that's pointing out to do a different strategy, not continue down the same path. 
Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I'm the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here after the state of Ohio killed me. First of all, the main guy, like the boss, his voice sounds really, really familiar right now. And listen, my, I don't know if I should call you my dude, you killed someone. Demon dude. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone else is surprised to you are here. You kind of got like a first ticket, you know, like first class. You know, right front of the plane, ride straight to hell. Like, it was pretty much the only place you were going to go. Luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. Okay, before we get into this whole song thing, that makes much more sense of a business strategy. They kill the people, from like the living world, our world, you know, or from hell, like they just okay. I get the business strategy now. That this makes sense, but I still like your ads are focused on like people in hell, and I don't know if you're like being tortured, you know, for all of eternity. There's not many times to watch TV and see an ad, but I guess they have multiple stations, including ones people don't watch. So. I maybe they do have time. Doctor, he's not responding. Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything. Damn it! I'm not losing another one. Clear! <laughs> Holy shit! It actually worked. That's not what you want to hear from a doctor. <laughs> Imagine you wake up, you're like, you're barely alive, and the first thing you hear is like, holy shit, we actually saved him, guys. Like, I, I thought he was fucked. Like, we have no idea what we're doing. No, I would, be, I would wake up pissed as fuck. Like, I would rather just stay dead. Like, I don't know what fucking tactics you used to bring me back to life. He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? <laughs> Kids die for free! What a great business. <laughs> Kids die for free. <laughs> I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... the do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Okay, to be fair, I don't know what the boss showed in various clips of all messing up. But, uh, you try to kill the, the kid, and the doctor brought him back to life. Is it really, like, anyone's fault besides, I guess, like, the doctor's fault? I guess it's kind of, like, his fault, but, I mean, he's also doing, like, you know, the good thing. Even though he doesn't know what he's doing, so... It's not like it's his fault either, so, if anyone to blame, I guess it's, you could have just killed the person, butter. Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. He sounds a little DTF-y. Oh, God, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? Got the book, got the book, got this fucking heavy book. Ugh. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. <laughs> Imagine, like, you know, some dude just falls on your table. I guess you're at the house as, you know, he's cheating on you, whatever. That makes perfect sense. And the dude just falls on your table and's like, Sorry, I fucked your husband. You could've just been like... <laughs> you didn't need to, like, clarify that. 
she didn't know what you did until you said what you did. She probably just thought you were stolen the book. And it gets lonely here. <sighs> okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy. Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your sad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and I'm, I don't know what I expected. I thought he was gonna like threaten to like eat one of the employees, not. Marty, you shouldn't be listening to this right now. Like, I'll be honest. This is not for your age. I actually don't know who I would you are. Look, the point is Luna is a valued member of our family and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie. It's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you get me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert. The butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is not my style of animation. Like, well, the animation's really good, actually, for, like, a YouTube-made product. But, like, the character design, I think, is a bit odd. Very reminiscent of, like, Invader Zim, though. I think my mom would hate it. She would just, like, be so confused. Because we weren't allowed to swear. Like, it took so long for me to, like, watch, like, South Park and things like that. I mean, I didn't even get, like, caffeine soda. Besides, like, on small, small occasions for most of my life. So, I don't think she would like this show. Uh, it's not my style, but there's, there's a lot of jokes like this that I just find hilarious. That I actually have to say, besides for some, like, a random wolf fully character, you know, still, like, not used to seeing many, like, demons and things like that. Especially polka dot. Not, not polka dot, but, like, they're very, like, mixed mixed in, like, shape, size, and, like, design. Like, the one dude had, like, a half-white face type of thing. I don't know. Maybe that's explained somewhere. But definitely not used to seeing mixed match, like, patchwork demons, foys, and things like that. But there's some funny jokes actually thrown in there. I feel like a little bit more inspired also like from things like Family Guy where like the cutscenes and things like that and it does help fill the time and do some good jokes. I feel like they've like for one episode I think this would be my only criticism for like one episode that's about 11 to 10 minutes long to have this many gags where you get a montage of different things like happening two or three times in one episode may not be the best choice even for like a full-length show let alone a show that is only 11 minutes yeah 11 and 11 seconds so that would be my only criticism really of the show what you dreaming about i was dreaming my parents were being murdered but now i'd like to go back to that are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. My dude, he was just trying to make some free product. You didn't like his one ad. So now he's trying to make another type of ad, you know, you know what I mean? To make some money for the company. What a shit employee you are. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. <laughs> oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. <laughs> Why is the kid here? Let him go home. Let him go back on off. He's having, like, away from home. He's like in a whole different like part of all. He's in hell. What the fuck? 
Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey, now, that's not very... If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to! <laughs> that's your husband? Okay, you know, whatever. This kid's being an asshole and insulting everyone. But if you just realize that they are married, unless this is supposed to be, like, some sort of clever way to, like, introduce your joke, you are, but, like, being pretty fucking stupid. They have said it, like, several fucking times. Like, the whole, like, they had a whole conversation about how the boss is spying on their, like, love life and shit like that. And even if it was a clever way of, like, you know, introducing your insult, it just makes you look stupid. I'm gonna say, this kid, <laughs> this kid in the show who's a child is pretty stupid. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah, I agree. He is kind of a piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick, I guess there is a god. Are we gonna get, like, explained why some person hell wants a child to be killed, or are we just, like, glossing over that? Because, I don't know. It doesn't seem like we're gonna get an explanation. Oh, my God, from reading the... Credit. Brandon Rogers is in the show. That's his voice. Oh my god, I can't believe it took me this long to realize this. Overall, it's a pretty good show. Especially for like a YouTube lover show. It's really funny. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite show. I guess though, if you want to see more episodes, I might. Depending on if it actually can go up and if I have a lot of issues being copy right. But I really think, you know, two YouTubers should kind of, you know, support YouTube, you would think. But overall, if I end up using too much of the show, I would also understand because that does take away from, you know, their product. So we'll see what happens. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think of the show if it's the first time you watched. And overall, it was okay in my opinion. And have a good night. I'm done with hitting your wall. If you don't know who this is, you're very confused right now. Sure notice, I just gotta let you know. You led me straight to the fall. I'm broken, I'm so trying, skidding bone.